It's the left's electric vehicle hype real. Fox Business correspondent Jeff Flock decided to put Biden's green dream to the test. So he got behind the wheel of a Tesla Model Y for an 800-mile trek from Chicago to New York, documenting each charge along the way. Good, because it's a quicker charge. It sometimes takes you on a more circuitous route. You know, I have a little bit of a bias. I like electric cars. So Jeff ran into a few roadblocks along the way, and then he got a reality check. Jeff got a reality check and needed to stop eight times to charge the car. Its efficiency dropped after each stop. Do your homework. Like you said, the technology is cool, but you better figure it out and don't trust the range estimates. Yeah, so that's the tough part here. It's like you can't trust the estimates and no one wants anything more on a road trip than to have like a, I don't know, I don't know how long this is going to take me or how long it, or, or circuitous route, as he said, right? I mean, Guy, would you, do you have? I don't have an EV okay. and some of my friends have them and they love them, especially for just sort of driving around town. But for actual road trips, it can be a nightmare. We saw this actually with members of the Biden administration, where they tried to do these PR moments where I think Secretary Granholm went out, Secretary Buttigieg went out, and they ran into serious problems. Even though it was choreographed to be as successful as possible for cabinet secretaries, you still ran into these issues that we saw from Jeff. And then one of our producers here on the show, she recently rented an electric vehicle against her will. It's all they had <laughs> right. at, the, at the spot, at the rental spot. And a simple trip from the New York area to the D.C. area, which typically, I've done that a thousand times, four or five hours, it took them 12 hours because of the constant recharging, how long it took to recharge. That's a nightmare. You cannot cram that down people's throats. They're not going to want that. If you can get the technology there, let the market right. do its work. Fine. It's not, the market's not going to bear that out. And, and also, and Dr. Siegel, I'm going to put up some of um, what this producer went through on this road trip here. Six, so, they, so she went on her first stop, she 16 miles with only 13 minutes left in the charge. That's kind of scary, right? And then after charge number one started at 10.43 p.m., the charge was done at 11.55 p.m. It lasted about an hour, then drove for an hour and 20 minutes, had to charge again at, this is a nightmare, again at 1.47 a.m. So then they had to charge again at 6.51 a.m., shows full charge would only last 154 miles, 126 minutes, it lasted much less. So, again, to Guy's point, to Jeff Block's point, like, you really don't know what you're getting into. But, but she wasn't driving a Tesla. She was driving a Chevy Bolt EV. Because, and we, we talk about how the Biden administration is really pushing this on people because not everyone can afford a Tesla, right? The Tesla is the more efficient vehicle here. Although I, I have to say, this particular producer, Elisa, was amazing at figuring out the math here. I would have been stuck at the side of the road <laughs> yeah. by the time she got to her destination. I wouldn't have made it. I also wonder, and I have wondered for years, why the goal is to beat a Porsche off the line, right? What are they trying to say to America when they have to compete with sports cars? And also, the lithium ions that they get, the lithium ion battery... Australia is mining the heck out of minerals for this, and South America is getting it out of brine, all of which is bad for the environment. So what's the goal? How's it green, anyway? Well, yeah, and um, Lisa, you, you'll appreciate this. Um, Ted Nugent, <laughs> edition, calls the EVs a scam. Listen. You have to be r mentally ill to believe in electric vehicles. Wind turbines are better than coal or, or oil or natural gas or propane. I feel like you guys would get totally get along. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> it is, it's a compliment. Well, you know, I mean, I, I think personally they're trying to push us away from personal uh, private car ownership, but beyond that, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the fact that Secretary Granholm's four day propaganda push trying to sell us on how great electric vehicles uh, were, Ended in the cops being called on her staffer, right? Yep. So, I mean, that kind of tells you how bad this is. And you had mentioned the market. I mean, the market's not dictating this. I mean, you look at the first half of 2023, only 8% of new car sales were electric vehicles. Further, the car manufacturers are losing money on this. Ford lost something like billions of dollars last year on uh, electric vehicle manufacturing. And then you've got China producing 80% of the batteries. So we're then benefiting an enemy nation, right? So none of this makes sense. Uh, yet maybe the only thing that does make sense is this administration would be the one to push something nonsensical. Well, also, Ned, like, he, Jeff Locke didn't have kids in the car. Our producer did not have kids in the car, but 
I always have kids in the car. And I think this takes away from a, a, an American culture of road trips, because this would be impossible in a road trip with kids. And that's what we've done in our family, because we have so many kids. We don't fly everywhere. We drive everywhere. But we love it. And But this we, we would not love. Well, and it sounded like some of the real problem with our producer was, first you had to find a recharging station. Yeah. Then when you got there, she said that there were cars in line waiting. And then when she finally got to the front of the line, it took an hour to charge. I mean, this is just, that's not doable. No, that's not no. realistic. Very, no. very long trip. Maybe, okay. maybe the Biden administration is going to give these cars out to migrants who come across the border. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whole new Don't topic. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.